In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most foundational passing concepts in all of Madden 23, and it's going to come out of the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire Pittsburgh offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. This is one of the first ebooks that I released all season, and it's still one of the best offensive ebooks uh, and one of the best offenses that you can be running right now. So Pittsburgh has a very unique bunch formation. It also has some really good other formations, such as uh, tight doubles. It has a really good trio, and it also has this empty tray stack, which a lot of people are liking this year out of five wide. So there's a lot of versatility in this playbook, but it starts and ends with the gun bunch. And this is a little bit more of a traditional style of gun bunch. It has some of the key plays from years over, such as bunch trails, Steelers cross, but it's really got one of these couple key plays, which is corner strike and deep corner so um, today we're going to be taking a look at the play deep corner i think this is one of the most like fundamentally sound bunch concepts in in madden it's been good every single year and we're going to show you how to run it in this video so what we're going to do with this play is we are going to take our running back and we're going to put him on an out route we're then going to take julian edelman our outside receiver and we're going to put him on a streak now where this formation becomes really, really powerful is actually when you motion him out. Um, you will be, I think it will be a little bit better for you if you do motion him out. And what you're gonna notice is, a, is that this corner route, as long as he doesn't run it that terribly, um, is going to get open. Let me show you that again. So your corner route to Michael Irvin is gonna be one of your best routes. You also do have a couple of other things on this play if they do play that man-to-man -man that well, um, which is actually rare. They don't normally play it that, um, that well. As you see right there, able to, able to throw it to him, and he's able to catch it because he has uh, short out elite, mid out elite, that kind of stuff. So you have this corner route, and this corner route is really the hallmark and really the foundational element of the offense. The corner route being able to attack the sideline. If you look at this play, we have three routes going to the right. Uh, actually, technically four if you count this in route. And then your back, you can either put him on a wheel route out of the backfield or you can put him on a little flat route, something like that. Super, super simple. Now, the beauty of that is if they do decide that they're going to run over to the right side to take away your corner route, then you can throw this route to Vada Scantling just over here in the middle of the field. So you're able to attack, you know, really a lot of a lot of ground. This flat route to the tight ends, I think, actually really underrated as well. As you can see, sometimes if they are in a press situation, he's going to essentially get a natural pick from that that receiver, and oftentimes is going to get to the flat quickly for you for an easy, you know, five, ten yards. Now, if you're running this and let's say that they're they're playing just incredible coverage on the tight end. One of the things I want to recommend is put him on an out route instead of putting him on a flat. You'll see that when you put him on an out route, he can be a little bit more, um, he can be just a little bit more effective, specifically, again, if they do like man this linebacker or something, you know, kind of adjust their coverage like this on the back end, then you can have this route to the tight end, you see. But even this, I mean, very good route, um, very good little pick route. Uh, and the bunch. Now I want to show you this play against zone, but before we actually I do want to show you against zone next. So, um, so again, man coverage, you have the corner route, you have the out route. One of the things you might have, um, I do have inside shade on, on both of my corners, but one of the things that you might have, and you, it is at least worth a look is if they are pressing you and you have the short out elite ability on your receiver, you see right here that this can burn press. Even against inside shades, as you can see right there, able to get it over the top of press. Short out elite, I think, is one of the most critical abilities post patch for running better routes against man coverage. So it's it's at least worth a look because now they have to you know put safeties over there and, and they have to roll roll coverages and stuff. Now the next coverage that I want to go over is cover four, and what you're going to see is against zone coverage, again your streak to your flat to your corner. So you see there the the flat was wide open. So we're going to take the flat. You really want to try to get a clean picture over there. And that's what that motion out really does, I think, for this play, is to provide you with a clean picture. So now what your opponent's going to have to do is they're going to have to hard flat on the bunch side. And there's a reason this play is good every year, because when they have to hard flat on the bunch side, that streak's going to clear out that deep zone, and you're able to throw that, that sharp cutting corner in behind it. You'll notice that this deep corner corner route is actually different than a lot of corner routes that you're going to see. Um, and it's because of the fact that it can do stuff like that. 
Now the last little piece of this is let's say that they decide to take their user out of the middle of the field and they decide that they are going to themselves take away the corner. They see the play, they diagnose the play, they know that you're trying to throw this corner out, so they run to the corner. This backside dig, super, super good. It's one of the best check down routes in the game. The beauty of that backside dig is you don't have to smart route it. You don't have to do anything. You just call the play. And that very much is how this play is going to work um, against zone pretty much over here. Um, this corner route is super, super effective. Again, you want to always say, if they give me my flat, I want to take my flat. I always want to take my flat because it forces the opponent's hand and it makes the picture a little cleaner. So they have to hard flat to take that away. And if they do hard flat to take that away, then chances are your corner route is going to be wide open to the sideline. You'll see right here, cover three, boom, easy read, and just super, super effective. Now, the other thing I did want to address real quick is this idea of well, we'll show cover two first, and then we'll talk about we'll talk about double flatting. So double flatting is where they're going to have a high flat, a low flat, and an over the top defender. And we'll show you kind of what's open in that in that scenario. Um, you'll see here, cover two can actually play this okay. Um, the best thing to do if they are running uh, a consistent amount of cover two, typically if they're running a double Mabel coverage, it's going to be a little different. But if they are running a consistent cover two where that cloud flat is a default cloud, re-corner this receiver, and you'll see that he'll run his corner route deeper to get over the top of a cover two zone. Okay? Now, with that, I want to take us into this idea of double flatting and what double flatting does for the, de the defense. And the main thing is that it really can take this play away because you have a hard flat, you have um, a cloud flat, but I want to show you this kind of unique little thing here. So typically they're going to know if they if they see run this route combo, they're going to run and they're going to go guard the corner route or not the corner route, but the dig route on the back side. If that's the case, if you look at this closely, you're going to notice that this because of the streak, and because of this route, the flat is going to pull out. So you see there's this little bitty window right in here where you can throw this, this ball before it gets to that cloud. That's a super, super critical window to master if you want to make, a, make yourself into um, a really, really good bunch player. Because if you're able to master that little window, it's going to make it so that it's very unlikely that they're able to run any kind of double flat defense. Now their user has to open to that side. And if he does open to that side, you can then hit your backside in route now i want to show you why i love this play specifically against match coverage you'll see against match coverage here that if we don't motion out they play that fairly well and a lot of times they're going to uh, be able to take that away what i like about this this play specifically against match is if i motion this receiver out now it makes a clearer picture for my offense and what you'll notice here is this corner route almost always is going to out leverage that safety to the sideline. So that's one of the main reasons why I think motioning out that outside receiver is super important this year um, from Bunch. And I think it just kind of, again, helps clean the picture for you. This is just a simple deep corner route to the right side, flooding the right side of the zones. But it's one of the best concepts every year, and I wanted to share it with you today. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Steelers Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description.